Welcome to this demo of free visual builder development with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmelzer, and in this demonstration, we'll show you how to create a visually applications using Visual Builder Studio. We'll show you how you can do the development in a visual way, how you create projects, how you design a Redwood-based user interface, how you connect to REST data sources to get information and data into your pages, how to run the application in preview mode. And then we're going to show you how you can manage your application with Git uh, to manage source code and even how to take your code, package it and deploy it on Tomcat. Let's get started. We're going to start by creating a new project. We're going to call it the VB3 project. I'm going to keep the defaults for a private project. I'm also going to use an empty project template, the default for the markdown for the wiki. I can add people to my team, but right now it's just me. So I'm going to click finish. This goes over and creates a new project for us. I'm speeding up this section, but you can see that we're providing you with agile capabilities, wikis, Git repositories, CI CD pipeline, issue tracking, and much more, all in a single project, all integrated and working together. You can use those with Visual Builder application, but also with any other type of application. All right. Now that the project is created, we can go into the workspaces and we're going to create a new visual application. We're going to give the workspace a name. And the nice thing is you don't need environments right now in order to develop an application. You can use the default VB look and feel. I'm going to pick up the Redwood starter template for my application and I'm going to create the application. This is now creating a local clone of a Git repository and basically creating my code in that, creating my application, and it would take me into the visual editor for visual applications. You can see a warning here about the things that you can't do without an environment, but we're going to show you what you can do. Um, one of the first thing you might want to do is rename the application here. So I'm just going to click to rename it to movies. Like that. And then inside this application, we already got one page that was created for us. Just an empty page. So we can actually select to switch it to another template. We have all the Redwood page template available for us over here. I'm going to use the smart search template over here. The template itself has a bunch of properties that I can set, such as the title and the subtitle. And for example, also the coloring over here. Template also has slots. Into the slots, you can drop components from your component palette. And again, you have a rich set of component here, all the jet component, all the redwood components are over here. I'm interested in the search component. So we'll pick this one up, put it here. And then I'm going to hook it up to a variable. So the variable would store the information from this field. We'll call it the search movie variable. Now we need to get some data into this page and data would come from external REST services. If you click here, you can create a new connection to a REST service. This can come from our catalog or defined by a spec uh, using open API or Swagger, or I'm going to use a simple endpoint over here. So we'll paste the URL to the REST service. This is a REST that returns many movies. We'll call the backend movies. We can choose different authentication types, but for now we're going to stick with none. We'll give a name to the service, we'll call it movie, and the title for this one. Then in the request, we can specify things like parameters, dynamic parameters. In our case, there's a parameter called query, and there's a, also a static parameter called API key. Then we can switch to the test tab, put in a value over here, and send a request. We'll get the response over here, save it as an example response, 
and create our connection to the REST service. Now that we have a REST service, we can look at our data palette over here, do a refresh, and our service will appear here. So we can take, for example, the movies endpoint, drag it into the page to create a list. Pick up the default look and feel for list, pick up the title and put it in the default slot, pick up the poster path for the leading slot, and we're going to switch this to be an image. We can get a little bit more information like the vote average and maybe the original language over here. The REST service has a parameter, query. We have a variable in our page and we're going to map the variable to the query parameter. When we click finish, we get some data in here. We can see that the images are not coming in correctly. That's because we need to modify it here to add the path to the server that hosts our like that. Click save. Now we got the image. We can make it a little bigger. Like that, for example. And that's it. We got ourselves a little application. If we actually switch to live mode and we search for track, we get Star Trek movies. We can also run this application, clicking the preview. This would allow us to see how our application behave at runtime. And there you go. We just built a Visual Builder application leveraging Redwood components, Oracle Jet, and REST services, and we're able to experience all of this inside Visual Builder Studio for free. What we're going to do now is show you how you can take applications and actually deploy them outside of Visual Builder in some cases. For example, in our case, our REST service doesn't require authentication. We don't use any business objects as well, so we should be able to deploy this outside of Visual Builder. One thing that you need to do before you deploy it outside of Visual Builder is go into your application source and locate the grant file JS. Okay, you'll see that it has this line of code in here, and you may need to modify it. We need to add a line that basically translates our catalog JSON, which is where our REST services are defined as part of the build. All right, so now that we did this change, we can take our application and we can push it into a Git repository. So we'll create a movies repository and we'll do an initial version commit over here and push to the Git repository. So our code is now inside the Git repository. Other developers in our project would now be able to go and work with the code that we just committed and create their own versions. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a build process here to take and package our application. We'll create a build job, we'll call it package app, and we're going to use the visual builder template for our build executor. In the job configuration, we'll map to our Git repository. We can also invoke this every time that someone modifies our code in the main branch. In the steps, we're going to add a step from the visual application to package our application and optimize it. And then after the build, we're going to archive the artifacts and everything that is a zip file. For example, maybe we want to keep those. All right. So we just created our build job. We can now click to build our application. Once our build job finishes, we'll have our artifacts in the artifact section. Under the build, you'll be able to see the build assets. Let's download this file. And now we can go over into our hard drive. And here's our file. We're going to extract it, go into the directory, and under web apps, you'll be able to see our movies application. Let's copy this one, 
And over here we have an instance of Apache Tomcat. We'll go into the web apps directory in Tomcat and we're going to paste our application in here. This Tomcat is running locally. So if I go over here to local host and I add movies, I'll be able to access my application. and run my application against the remote REST service, all running locally on my machine. All built with Visual Builder Studio for free.